Where's Perry? Parts 1 and 2. When the Flynn Fletcher family and friends go to Africa, Perry has to fake sickness to stay home and thwart Doof's plot. But it turns out Doof's plot was just a decoy to get Perry out of the way. Which he wouldn't have had to deal with Perry anyway if he hadn't acted suspicious causing Monogram to make him cancel his trip. He could have just gone on with his plan without Perry interrupting, but eh, at least this way he got to ruin Perry's day while getting rid of him early. Then Doof attempts his real plan, hitting Monogram with an evil innator so that Monogram would hand Alka over to him. Really presumptuous of Doof to assume that just becoming evil would be enough to get Monogram to join him. I mean, has he learned nothing from his relationship with Rodney? But when the Innator hits Carl instead, unleashing all of his built-up resentment towards Alka, nothing goes according to plan. Meanwhile, Candace is nervous about why Jeremy wants to talk to her and why she hasn't heard from him yet, as she continues to be one of television's best depictions of anxiety. I mean, there's a good reason why he didn't show up, and he probably wants to tell me he wants us to start wearing matching sweaters or something cute like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's him! Jeremy! Hello? This episode possibly could have worked as a 44 minute instead of two 22 minutes, but they make the most of the two-parter by giving everybody a major cliffhanger. Some characters' cliffhangers are resolved more swiftly than others. Carl gets so few episodes to shine, so it's great to see him get major character development and a big rock and musical number. And if yeah, I'm evil, I'm evil for extra credit. And Doof and Monogram get so few chances to be a duo, and it's always nice to hear Dan and Swampy razz each other. As these characters, or as these characters, it's always hilarious. He's not officially an employee. He's unpaid. You don't pay him? He gets college credit. Are you sure you're not evil? Oh, hey, you heard it here first. Doof and Schmertz is an ally to the young working class. This is a great episode for fan service, not only bringing back the robots from I Was a Middle-Aged Robot, but providing some of the best moments of Alka action, what with Perry recruiting the population of a continent and Francis himself joining the fight. We're surrounded by parts. And it's also a great episode for emotional beats, making the most of our investment in the love between Perry and the kids, Candace and Jeremy, and even Francis and Carl. Really, I'm just a sucker for any time Perry shows how much he truly loves Phineas and Ferb. 